BRB UK. Worst teeth, better accents. Hello, hello, and indeed, ahoy, hoy. Welcome back. It's BRB UK episode 433. I am so sorry I wasn't in your ear holes last week. Uh, I had to do some urgent science, which was, um, you know, one of those things. But uh, okay. on the bright side, uh, I'm still employed. So, uh, you know, that's good. Right. We do need science right now, Dan, so that's yeah, okay. Yeah, science, I hear science, science is Science is good. Science is important. So anyway, uh, I've returned from doing the science and uh, i'm back doing the show so uh, hello well done last week chaps well done coping without me and um yeah how have you been cold man you first uh i i i had a great day where uh, i went to make a coffee and a bottle of alcohol fell off the top of the shelf and landed on my head <laughs> i did think yeah your head was looking extra lumpy today oh, oh. there is a, a genuine divot look at that yeah jesus i got a little egg on me head. chunk out of your skull mm. Mm. Wow. I mean, those those bottles of Black Tower do have some heft to them, to be fair. Black Tower. Behave yourself. It's a quality wine. It was a peach gin. <laughs> it was a what? A peach, peach gin. gin, did you say? You it's deserve to get hit in the head. Deserved it. It's not mine. Bloody <laughs> hipsters. It's the, it's the girlfriend's. She likes gin. <laughs> anyway, Tim, how are you? I hope I'm you okay. Ha- Nothing has uh, fallen uh, you, on my head this week. I'm you you right. haven't been assaulted by any met- metrosexual uh, beverages, I hope. No, no beverages of any sort. No beverages, no beverages of no any beverages. sort. Okay, well, well done. Anything else hit your head? Nothing has hit my head this week. We're okay. I can't use that as an excuse this week. Right. Okay. Just well, you know, over time it will have like yep. a chronic effect. So Possibly. over the course of your life, I mean, it, that could be why yeah. you you can't do a short sentence. Pot could, kettle black on that one, though. Basically, yes. Maybe you need more so, hits to the head. Give me the skinny I, chaps. I, I what volunteer. have you been up to? Since? Well, well, well common. Hang on, hang on. Look like common had the question. Before oh, I, I said maybe another diatribe. I said maybe Tim needs more hits to the head, and then I was volunteering. Oh, lovely. <laughs> How rude, Coleman. That's, that's nice. As a recent in, inflicted hit to the head, that doesn't give you the right to go around inflicting your head wounds on other it's not, people. It's not what hands face space means, Coleman. Sorry. Wash your hands. If you're gonna tw- if you're gonna smack him in the head, at least wash your hands. Wash, right, your, wash your hands, hands everybody. You, know, you can't slap me around the face and remain a safe two d- meter distance away from me coleman that's how it works giving giving tim a b- slap is not covid secure i can no. tell you that now exactly what if i used a broom and a rubber glove well i mean y- you do you coleman i mean i'm not judging that's all i'm saying i'm then not judging it, it's not not really a slap it's just an assault with a broom and a rubber glove yeah, and that's not how you do a prostate exam. I know Tim's a man of advancing years and may need that doing to him at some point, but a broom and a rubber no, glove thanks. is not the way ah. Really, really not the way forward. Anyway, enough about Tim's back passage. Oh. SOS. There's a, well, there's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Uh, can, I, can I ask you gentlemen a, f- a question before we venture further into the yeah, podcast? Yeah, go for it. Go on, go on, hit me. I'm looking at investing, making investments. <laughs> no, don't do it. In a headset that works on both modern consoles and does 3D audio preferably as well. Well, I would go for the new Xbox headset they've just announced. I hear that's pretty pretty great with just about everything. But will that work? Does that have 3D audio? Because it doesn't state that it does uh i believe from what from your xbox or from the well I, I, on the playstation like some people have recommended the still series 7 x even though that's the xbox model but yeah someone's investigating whether that does definitely does 3d audio for me as well but like just wondered this if you guys website. have a head site a headset that you use on both a head site a head site no i i i I just use these now i don't use a gaming headset anymore um yeah i've got a microphone up there oh obviously one here obviously obviously but you know when i when i when i don't want to look like i'm some part of some kind of bit rate uh uh, bit bit part self-important radio show presenter i've got one that's out of shot there um but a lot of um surround is done in software now anyway 
Yeah, that's why I'm a bit confused between virtual surround and 3D audio and whatever the other one is. Well, there's this great but website, yeah. Tim. It's yes. called google.com. Right. And you can put anything your heart desires into that I search know, box and find I out know, stuff about I know. it. Right, yeah. And that is something I investigate. Do I look I like was Google? Just asking Do I look like Google? For your advice and by doing so, hopefully, like, you know, possibly giving advice to our listeners, but also asking our listeners for some advice as well. So if they've got anything they recommend and they're currently using on uh particularly this generation of consoles and if that's it's something i recommend let me know because i'm in the market at the moment basically. i mean i mean it kind of depends how it outputs the audio is what it's going to come down mm. to is what what format it is and whether or not that's at the system level or at the game level um but certainly i think xbox da- uses dolby atmos i believe right. um which is pretty good um uh, and that covers both kind of game gaming on the pc and obviously xboxes um i don't know how or what sony uses but sony being sony i'm guessing it might be mildly proprietary i think it sounds like whichever headset i get even if it's a wireless headset i'm gonna have to wire it up to one console or the other to be able to use it on both consoles yeah so yeah it, it seems it seems a bit weird to invest more money in a wireless headset and then have to wire it up most of the time. But so Tim, that is how you like to invest. Well, yeah, yeah. It sounds like a classic, well thought out, Tim, low risk, high yield investment. Well, this is why I'm asking for advice. Yeah, so, so you can blame yeah. it on us. Yes, I have exactly. None. So it can be your fault. No advice from Goldman. No? no advice from Coleman. No. Why Coleman no give advice? Well, I mean, I uh, usually what I do is I have all my consoles kind of hooked up in the same way and they run through my mixer and then I listen to the mixer and then also I can, if I want to listen to a podcast at the same time or use Discord, uh, then I can all run it through the same thing. Um, until the other day, I plugged my headphones into my controller on my Xbox and went, oh, that does sound a lot better. Maybe I'll just start doing that now. <laughs> But also, a bit of me secretly wants to see Tim try and work out how to use a multi-channel mixer in that context. Yeah, I would actually pay good money for, to see you try and do that, Tim. Uh, but no. I've got a yeah, spare, I but think, I think no, Rick's claimed it. it. Yeah, every day's a school day. It could be your thing you learn that day. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. What I usually do is if I'm looking for something like headphones or microphones or whatever, then I will type in you know, product I want, the year, best of, and then look at a table, make sure it's not sponsored by Amazon, and then <laughs> look up YouTube videos, actual product uh, user reviews where they're using it and doing a video where sound quality and stuff can be heard, and then just make it up my mind up that way. Excellent. I also just heard a random Windows error yeah. sound. Yep, yeah, sorry. Uh, I am sorting that out. <laughs> Carry on. Task failed successfully. Jolly good. <laughs> Coleman um, left his sound. So while, while Coleman is uh, fixing slash subtly breaking in even more profound ways the podcast, um, what have you been up to? What have you been playing, boys? I have been spending my time being a Viking. You had a week off and you're still playing the same. Oh, Valheim. Valheim. Dude, I've yeah. played Destiny 2 for the past four years nonstop. So, you know. <laughs> Um, just be glad that I'm tr- I'm broadening my horizons with at least one other game. Okay. Yeah, I'm still playing Valheim. Absolutely loving it. It's my chill out game, without a shadow of a doubt. Really gets quite hard, actually. It's um good and Viking and chill, yeah. Viking and chill, exactly. Um, I am currently experimenting though you'll be pleased to hear i've heard that about and this you. is something that might be of interest and potential joy to our uh to our listeners uh i must tr- playing about with spinning up our very own valheim server mm. i'll keep you posted i have one guinea pig who i have recruited so far his name a guinea pig's good uh, vikings yeah yeah they do they love it that it's um they that it's serious because they're, they're so small and fluffy they've got so much anger I so just, much anger just, they want to be taken they want to be I'm taken not, seriously i'm not sure i could t- 
like take a guinea pig in a horned helmet seriously. I just, they just want to be just, a pig. They just want to be a, a proper do pig. They, but not. Or do they want to be a guinea? I think there's more of an issue with them trying to reach the mouse and the keyboard at the same time because they're tiny little arms. No, you're confused now with T Rex's comment. Them too. Yeah. <laughs> the um, rubbish so, yeah, games. but so. I will keep you all post, but if a, a dedicated Valheim server is something our good listeners would be interested in, then I can certainly uh, have a little look. Uh, but yes, yeah, so anyway, I've uh, I've I've stolen one of our community members, uh, Richard, also known as DJ Raptor. He told me back in Ooh. the nineties, two thousands. Uh, I thought that was an awesome DJ name. Good. Um, yes, so. We're kicking the tires, and uh, who knows? You may be able to join us in, uh, in you know, Viking themed japes and general hilarity uh, I love at some it. point soon. I love it. This has excited me. Good. If I wasn't knee deep in Sea of Thieves already, then I, <laughs> I yeah, would be dude, well up for I this. see you have been putting a lot yeah. of time into that. Mm. Are you addicted? Uh, well, I got my Xbox Series S arrived on Friday. Uh, Indeed. Yep. Yeah, Xbox, me, fanboy all the way. Uh, Greenside, Yay. all that. Screw you. Yes. Is only, uh, is Screw you, only, Sony only fanboys. You that's the only white colored, co- white colored console you're going to be able to purchase for the next three years while Sony sorts its supplies out. Yeah. Uh, no joke as well. I uh, put the S up against um, my girlfriend's PS5, and it's it, it's... The PS5 is three of these buggers. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, wow. This thing's I mean, so small. I, I, that thing's I actually so big. haven't seen a PS5 in the flesh yet. Oh, uh, oh, you won't, because I won't be I hear, yeah. oh, But from what I've seen, it looks ginormous, but I, yeah. I hear that in in reality, it's even more ginormous, sir, yes. than you think. Yeah. It looks closer than it really is. Mine's on the other side of the room, and it looks like it's right right in front of me i showed it to a group of apes and one of them beat the other one with a with a bone to death oh so you got, you got one of those you got the the uh the, the black uh fascia kit for it yeah 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 That's yeah it. so, so it's, it went full 2001 i'm gonna have a monolith in my front room <laughs> anyway xbox series s got uh so that that arrived first thing that went on there sea of thieves and now i'm playing it all the time because i love it <laughs> and it's a really good game it's such you can seriously sea of thieves if you you do have to tolerate the occasional ass hat. There's no two ways about oh, it. Oh yeah, it's an online game, so I mean, you can just lose yourself for hours in Sea of Thieves. Love it, great yeah. game. Uh, there, there are a lot of very angry children uh, in that game that love screaming at you. So there's a lot of muting going on. Um, very difficult to report people, I find, in that game as well. Oh, for you know. Nice Although part of the problem is, it's like you can't. The problem is if your bar is, is that acceptable level for what a pirate would actually well, do? Well, it's not that. Um, if you're going to turn up, shoot me, burn my boat, and steal my treasure, then fine. It's Sea of Thieves. It's not Sea of Let's Be Best Friends. If you're going to scream <laughs> racist stuff at me and say I but should die of cancer and slit my sink, wrists, oh, then I've got a problem. Huh? The only ship that doesn't sink, though, the is friendship. A friendship. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, because I'm not pirate legend, I I get picked on a lot in that game. <laughs> it's been fun. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm doing all right. I'm prestige level forty, I think, in season one. Wow! Now, so that's quite nice. Um, you, you is well leet. I'm leet in that in it, blood. But I think there's like four weeks left of season one uh, at the moment, so I'm running through uh, that. It's got its claws into you. But yeah, I uh, picked up that. The uh, dirt game that t- well basically i'm using game pass so anything that's available i'm running through um so i tried some tetris connect last night that's super fun but dan's already spoken about that uh the dirt yeah I, I, I honestly felt like i was on the verge of an epileptic fit the whole time <laughs> it's a good one that um there was one of them where it made it everything like steampunk and all the shapes became instead of blocks be they, they were like cogs and yeah. that was messing my eyes a lot. I yeah, found that really yeah, 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 messes yeah. with your head. But otherwise, uh, really fun, enjoyable game. Easy to pick up and put down. I'm doing it in stage. It, like I, I'll play like one stage on my lunch break, and then when the credit, uh, when the scoreboard comes up, goes cool. Back to work. Um, <laughs> there's I, I complete. I keep forgetting what the name of the dirt is. It dirt rally three or no just no. dirt five no? dirt, five, dirt five. five sorry um yeah I've been playing that. I think that is a perfect arcade racer and something that yeah. I've, because I I play a lot of Looks different good on the S as well. Yeah, I play a lot of different sort of arcadey type racing games, looking for 
something that matches up to me of like uh, uh, Burnout Paradise or uh, Underground 2 or something like that. And I always find everything a bit too floaty. And this is the first time I've played an arcade game in a, over a decade and gone, yes, this is what I've been looking for. So that's really cool. Um, and yeah, it does look like they've put all the bells and whistles into it. There's a lot of like graphical things going on and, you know, sun flare and um, fireworks going off and like all extra sort of things on it. But it adds up to a nice spectacle kind of for the racing, I think, in that, no? Yeah. I, I mean, you've checked out Forza Horizon 4, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, Initially, I was playing that a lot and then I've just taken that off my hard drive so I can play... Because uh, there are only small hard drives on the Xbox. Your yeah. hard drive or your super sexy drive? My super sexy drive. Your super sexy drive. Uh, but I took off Forza in place of Dirt just while I'm playing Dirt and then I'll probably switch them back. Forza's more Good. of a... It's a long-term thing with me, whereas the... the new dirt game is a i'm gonna burn through this and then i'm done whereas fours is more because it's got that open world structure and stuff remind me young cold man mm -hmm. what is the girth of the super sexy drive in the know. xbox series s 512 like, yeah something like Ooh, that that's not much so it's only like 400 and something when you've got your operating system and stuff sorted out but wow it's it's, right. it's not huge but the because it's ssd and i've got a pretty decent internet it it it's quick enough to take stuff off and put stuff on um, pretty quickly. Uh, I was trying Dropkick Heroes, as well, not Dropkick, a beat, oh, what's it called? Beat Heroes, something like that. Some rhythm game, wasn't very good, a bit boring, looked like a mobile game, played like a mobile game, shouldn't play it on the Xbox, <laughs> deleted that. Yeah. Yeah, but otherwise... You look just, like a pop star. You sound like a pop star, is where I thought you were going with that. But otherwise, having a lot of fun with um, with, with Game Pass on the Xbox, so nice, nice thing. Like the new controller, so, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's white. It's just like lovely. That. It's just like the old one, except for it's got like rough surface on the back of the uh, tech controller, which basically. is a bit like the um, the elite. That's got yes, those textured look. Look, look at the knurling on that. Mm. Lovely <laughs> bit of knurling. The only problem is um, the the front face is actually bigger than the Xbox One, so. Uh, I have clips for attaching my phone to, and I thought, oh, new controller, this is going to be great for attaching my phone to and using Game Pass on my phone. No. But no. No, it doesn't fit on ah. that. Um, but I have a Razer Kishi coming, so I'll use that instead. Okay. Yeah. Blended. Well, yeah, I've had some adventures in Game Pass this week as well, basically. Um, And, yeah, I think it kind of, even though I didn't play the game I was intending to, I think it does show a good, like... Uh, I have a question. Yes? What game were you intending to play? Well, I'll get to that, but I'm just yeah. saying, it, it just shows the... He's setting up a like, story, Dan. You've got to let him get through kind it. Of, yeah, I'm sorry, of, I've, I've of been having... off for a week. I forgot <laughs> I've got at least five hours of this preamble to sit through. Carry on, Tim. <laughs> but yeah, it just, it's, just shows the advantage of having Game Pass and discovering other games. Like, I literally... Um, was going to like uh, have a look at Prey was my my idea this this week. Apparently that's got an FPS boost as well. Oh yeah, um, which a I haven't really boost. seen uh, a game take advantage of. So I was planning on playing that this week to 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 play through a bit of that. I've been going on about it to my flatmate, having a really good intro to the game and not actually going back and 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 playing more of it and meaning to. Didn't you buy um, that for but, PlayStation and not play it properly? Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I played a bit of it and meant to go back to it, uh, but then yeah, then it came that's, out on this. That's eighty percent so, anyway. of your game's library, I think. <laughs> yes, it's probably on both uh, available to me on both consoles now. So uh, anyway, yeah, I was keen to play it at some point, but then when um, downloading that, I was like, oh, I downloaded Wreckfest before and and haven't played that yet. Let's have a look. And I literally said to my flatmate, let's let's play this and check that it's not rubbish. And if it is, we'll just delete it, basically. And then we ended up playing that all night. Even when Prey downloaded halfway through the evening, we were like, no, nah, no, we're happy with this. This is cool. <laughs> and yeah, Wreckfest is, um, yeah, it's kind of re realistic in terms of, uh, well, not en entirely in terms of physics and damage, but it's got a realistic kind of look to it and a realistic feel to it and what stuff. What kind of but, game is Wreckfest? Uh, it's a... Right, I it's thought a, it would be in, it's a modern day demolition derby. Yeah, oh, right. but okay. I I thought it would be entirely demolition derby based. But there is some racing to it. There's this racing in which you are encouraged um, 
generally or encouraged by uh like the kind of um quest things that you've got to do in each race to to be destructive in those races as well basically well you know what they say robin is racing <laughs> yeah but robbing is racing it's kind of so if your mum walks in on you just yeah, tell her you're racing yeah okay I, it's all I, I, i'll leave that one to you dan that's okay but um but yeah no generally it it's kind of racing the way i like to race as Happy both of Mother's you know Day. from playing with me I'm racing. Uh, like actually you know slamming people in, is encouraged when going into corners rather than in the games that you like to play with no you didn't take the driving line you, that was you, bad cl- you clearly have never ha- come against a driver tar in forza horizon 4 because <laughs> <laughs> that, that is just like no I, i'm just gonna drive into everybody so i'm gonna do but yeah i mean it's not graphically as impressive as dirt that you mentioned previously um, <laughs> as in the game rather than just rubbing it into your eyes yeah, as in the game it's not, not, not as not impressive as, to look at as not dirt. as impressive as dirt <laughs> that's how bad it is no but it's it's kind of like i don't know it it seems like a uh a game from a few years ago but a pretty game from a few years ago kind of thing it's not exceptionally graphically pretty but it's not ugly like it looks functional and good um but some of the gameplay is this zany it's as i said it's realistic but it's also realistic at but what if we turned all safety rules off uh what could you do Wait, with what? cars and vehicles that so, so you're rubbing yeah. And you've yes. got no safety word, is what you're telling me. No safety word. Yes. Jesus. I have a question. Was <laughs> yeah, yeah, was, yeah, Carl's got a question. Carl, man, yes, question. What, was, yes. was that a deliberate decision to go no safety and then smack the microphone at the same time just to prove a point? No, not entirely deliberate. Um, but yeah, like, it, for instance, there's one race where you're tasked with racing against an entire... Uh, field and there's, I think there's up to 23 other races in a race so it does get quite hectic um, but an entire race where and bearing in mind this race is on a section of an oval where either end of that section of an oval is a loop and the 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 way to race round a lap is to go on the same section of loop one way or the other to either loop at either end so you're just literally going head on in traffic <laughs> around this loop and then doing a, a a complete circle and coming back into head on traffic that's coming the other way it's absolute carnage but you're doing that race while in a school bus against three wheelers <laughs> Fair enough. as you do there's also a race uh where you race couches yep <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, there's also another race where you're racing those little sit on lawnmowers and just it's a massive <gasps> destruction derby where you've got to knock people flying off their lawnmowers. Oh, and you I mean, do that rag is good doll, times. You do ragdoll send people flying off their sofas as well when you smack into them on that race. And they tip up as well when you go like that. And one of those races that it does on a figure eight and the figure eight crosses over, so everyone's smacking into each other in the middle and stuff as well. It's just insane but in a really good way um and tim yeah, i have a question fun. yeah H- how many times did the silliness and the carnage just leave you sitting on your sofa going oh, 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 explosions <laughs> that oh. is really dumb and fun yeah, yeah it's it though yeah it's just like every even like the thing i liked about dirt is as i said it was a real spectacle and felt like a real kind of graphical powerhouse showing off the console and i think it's very good for that but this, I I preferred a lot of the like the other events. Like I found in Dirt, there was the I can't remember Worms. The, sprint, Ooh, the, they're tasty. the sprint cars where you have to like race in a circle really quickly, and generally like they're really bad at turning in the other direction. Um, and the ice American races, cars, is yeah, what you just and the, no, 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 they're a particular car with a like spoiler that's a uh, forty five degree angle, and anyway, but yeah, um. But and then there's ice racing in that which I found quite hard in dirt as well. Like, but some of the levels in that were really good. Whereas I found in Wreckfest there was a greater variety to them. They didn't feel as spectacular, and there wasn't anything that kind of lived up to the. In dirt, you get those big vertical races where you're going up them in a buggy, and and like they they seem like like huge mountains, and it didn't quite have the verticality, but it had some 
nice silly touches that kept me laughing or or just kept me entertained like one of the things i like that a lot of racing games don't do is it it remembers the debris between laps so if you've knocked into a tile a, a pile of tires they'll still be scattered in a similar way the next time you go around the level it didn't seem to do anything other than be like a cosmetic bit of information there almost time the thing it doesn't seem to be something you interact with necessarily but it was this kind of nice little touch and the silly little things like we we spent a whole uh series of races with a a shark strapped to the top of our car and uh uh, yeah there's another one where we strapped a hot dog to the top to the to the boot of a car and stuff like that like giant massive hot dog and just just yeah a really silly game that um yeah kind of as i said it's got a a slight realistic you can turn on full realistic damage if you want but generally it kind of keeps you driving even though there's a bit of noticeable drag if you've really messed up your steering or on stuff like that and there's different parts of the car that you can mess up but i like the way the car deforms over the race you can literally finish the race where where your car's all like mashed up into one tiny little car or where it gets gets hit on both sides and it gets really thin um and yeah like it just as i said it was one of those silly little games that kept me laughing so yeah wreckfest has been the main one i played this week i will also it's worth picking up because I, mean, I played it a bit yeah. on PC a while back, and you know, yeah, it's it's good, dumb, f- good, honest, dumb fun. Yeah, is what I would describe it as. If you're looking for a deep experience, it's not that. If you're looking no. to smash some cars up and have a laugh while you do it, yeah, job's good. Although I'd imagine online multiplayer is probably fairly tedious. Yes, I've only really played the the single player, even though, as I said, we were kind of playing it, passing the pad and stuff. But yeah, it's a really good game for that and just like playing in a group of people passing the pad. Um, and it's, yeah, just as not you say. Not a good game to play at a nursing home, it turns out, passing the pad. Possibly <laughs> not at the moment, no. How's, that, hey. how's that drink, Cole, man? <laughs> <laughs> I will also give a shout out. It's not quite as good, but it is just as silly to uh, a game called Valor, um, which again was on Game Pass. And can, can I just say they need to work on their um, on their search engine optimization because uh, I came up with like, yeah. there's a programming language, there's a picture of a rhino painting a tree. I don't quite Kids. understand what that's about, and um, something and Kosovo Telecom as well. Ooh, they all also, appear. also not that. What it does stand for is Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse. Oh right, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Um, and yeah, it's it's very silly. Uh, it tells the story. Basically, there's the Alarmanati. Yeah. Uh, what they've done there, I see it. Yeah, it's good. Right, and they uh, are, are causing chaos because of uh, they were the llamas were working for Lamazon and doing deliveries oh, for them, but dear. they found out that hey, I didn't write this. This Zing. is the thing. And they found out that the workers were been replaced by drones and so went on a riot or something. So anyway, there's now like it's like many years later and there's lots of mutant llamas roaming around and you're in a big mech and you have to clean up the massive llama apocalypse. And uh, by basically. clean up, I'm assuming it's shoot and hit them until they're like squishy. Yeah, and it's a twin stick shooter, basically, but up to four players in different coloured mechs. Uh, you get like two weapons there's like yeah your triggers of weapons and and uh bumpers of reloads for those weapons you get like water cannons or freeze rays and stuff water cannons just kind of repel things and you can, just shoot can, can you combine them could you like soak something and then freeze it and extra things happen or it's not it as didn't deep as that seem to go quite that deep but you could freeze things and then shoot them and they'd explode into f- small frozen chunks of dead llama basically so you know, I, oh my that. lights just went off <laughs> yep it's gone dark lads it's, it's n- n- nighttime mode with dan um but yeah like it's it's not great but i think in a couch co-op game with up to four players it it's it's silly and fun enough especially on a maybe drunken evening when once all this is over yeah, that could be one worth playing at some point. Um, and again, it's on Game Pass. It's free to have a go at. 
yeah, I had some fun with it. So yeah, they yeah. really need to uh, their search engine optimization. I'm on page twelve of a Google search, and I've yet to encounter a single f- llama. S- search Valor game, Dan. No, I didn't have to teach no. you how to Google. No, things. I'm just proving a point that search engine optimization is important if you want to get talked about. All right. I'm just try- I'm just trying to tell it like it is. Like, why is structure of a sedo heptulo seven phosphate cyclase? Why is that a hit above llamas? Maybe Seriously, he- maybe it's the effect of the alarmanati suppressing what valuable information we know need to know about deadly llama attacks. I know it isn't, but it sounds like a Jeff Minter game. <laughs> Although there's quite a lot of llama slaughter for a Jeff Minter game, he, yeah, he, he, he kind of likes llamas. Llama. Yeah, that doesn't stop you from killing them in his games, though. Necessarily, yeah, found it. I finally found it on page 15 of the Google search. Xbox games with gold. Last chance to claim. Dot dot dot. Valor, vicious attack llama apocalypse. Although it sounds like it's saying just become fatal. Seriously, so it's all your internet out. It's not good enough. I just tried to do a remote install from the Game Pass app, but it seems to think that I don't have Game Pass. So that was nice. Oh. I'll just install it after the show. <laughs> I'll be listening back to this to editing and going, oh, Valor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you guys want to hear some news? Oh, mate, I would love to have my brain muscles tickled. Cool. With a so bit of hot steaming he didn't say that. news. It's good. He didn't uh, say that. So just before we started recording, and during recording, in fact, uh, there's been a Square Enix uh, stream called Square Enix Presents Spring wow, 2021. That, I, love, I love what they're doing with that title. It's good. Well, not everyone can have Nintendo Direct. I have a question. Or State Are you of sure play. it's Square Enix Presents, not Square Enix Presents? Yes. Uh, do you know what? They made that terrible joke on their blog announcing the um, the stream where they went, do you mean we're all getting presents? No, we're doing a presents. It's actually there in the Q&A of this announcement. Really? It's, it's awful. Like, That's how bad your come joke up, is, Dan. Like, who'd come up with a joke like joke, that? It's a terrible. Dude, look, I, I am fine no, with the fact that... hanging there's, fruit. There's a lot of dad jokes going no. Look, have you seen the shirt I'm wearing? Seriously, this is, you know, this is... <laughs> This is like the official attire of dad jokes right here. You look like Lawrence I'm not actually Bowen a dad, a but, you know. I think I'm just in good training for when, if I eventually become one. And I, I would embarrass a child so much. Uh, right. The, I just would. The lineup of stuff they announced wasn't particularly exciting, but there's a few things on there, so I'll just route through them real quick. We got... Um, more of Outriders, which, of course, the big news um, before the stream was that it's coming to Game Pass on launch day oh, April the 1st. I have a question. Yep. On PC too? No, just oh. Xbox and uh, Android Cloud. I'm still distinctly eh about Outriders, I have to say. Yeah, so am I. Um, I reinstalled... That's why I'm happy. I'm getting it for free. Mm-hmm. Uh, I reinstalled free. the demo on Xbox Series S uh, because I remember I was going to retry that on a different platform. And yes, it plays a lot better than PS4. The only problem is with the increased frame rate, um, that shaky cam cutscene stuff, it's really, really bad. <laughs> Isn't it? I thought it was. I thought it was bad on last gen. On current gen, it makes me sick. <laughs> it's not good. And d- did... Did he find, I found the higher the, the higher frame rates just their motion blur gets worse and worse as yeah, well. Yeah, and you can't turn it's it off. It's not nice. It's not good. Um, but it's coming to Game Pass, so I will. Uh, yeah, I'll pick it up and give it another try because free is it? Well, not free. Included in the subscription price is a good enough price for me. I have a question. Yeah. If if you're a stubborn old git like me, and you haven't. What had do you mean, if Dan? Right. You are. You're a stubborn old git like me. I'm not. Um, I'm not but... And oh, Tim, come on, mate. You know you're a stubborn old git. Seriously, you I are was just a stu- being stubborn you about are... you being calling me no, a no, stubborn you, old git. You okay? are. I was seriously. being on form. It was a meta joke, Dad. There, there are there are goats who are more reasonable than you, Tim. That's how stubborn you bloody are. <laughs> what about llamas? <laughs> La- what? Llamas, what about llamas too. All right. Shush. Right. What was I on about? What about llamas? <laughs> right. You were saying about Outriders and you being a stubborn Oh, yes, kid. that. Um, it, I don't have an Xbox at the moment. No. 
First oh. world problems. I know, right? I know. Um, can I do the Xbox remote play thing on a on a browser yet? No. Oh. Not yet. Hmm. Uh, or or on an Apple device. Oh. Well, I won't be playing that then. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. I'll be playing it on my Xbox and my phone. It's it's a shame because I know your PC is powerful enough to you never to want to bother with an Xbox console enough. But uh, I recommend this S. It's it's nice and quiet and small and unintrusive and cheap. I have been bizarrely tempted by picking up an X, uh, one of the new Xboxes actually over a PlayStation, and I don't know why yet because it would make more sense if I am going to get one to get a PlayStation. I might branch out into other things. I don't know what I'm doing basically. Only issue I'm all is of a kerfuffle. it gets insanely hot. <laughs> Even if you Does give it, it loads of ventilation, it just blasts heat out, which is not great for uh, when you're playing at a desk. It gets very hot over <laughs> here. So, See, yeah. I haven't noticed so much. Mine's got yep. plenty of space, though. So anyway, really? that's out. That's Outriders. Also, they were talking about the Tomb Raider 25th anniversary. There's going to be a, uh, a re-release of the the reboot trilogy, uh, if you want to call it that, um, for the new consoles. Also, there, which I think is actually, I think you can pick that up now on the PlayStation Store because I was perusing earlier before the stream and they had it on there. Um, also, there's a Tomb Raider anime and a follow up movie in the works. Uh, there is a. It's an anime cro- of everything. Is yeah. it a Netflix anime? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, also, there's a crossover event uh, for Division 2 coming up. Also, for Final Fantasy, whatever the online Final Fantasy is, 14. 14? 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. Why not? Uh, also, Lara Croft in uh, Fortnite. Everyone's seen that now. And uh, uh, also a Tomb Raider cookbook. Yep. <laughs> really? Yep. Any uh, any example dishes from the Tomb Raider okay. cookbook? Nope. They just said cookbook with example uh, with dishes from Tomb Raider, I guess. Is everything cooked on a little campfire on a cliff edge? I assume so. That that was like a big thing for the first Tomb Raider reboot game, right? They they put a lot of emphasis in you're gonna have to go out and hunt and survive, and then like ten minutes into the game, it's not really a big thing. <laughs> we'll just, do that in the first area of the game and yeah. then never again. Here we go. So apparently the features of the book contain the following more than forty, count them, forty mm-hmm. recipes for food and drinks. Inspired Ooh. by some of the many locations and characters Lara Croft has come across in the 25 years as the Tomb Raider. Fans also apparently have a chance to vote online for their favourite recipes to be included in the book. Now, cheesy so beans, like, ladies and gentlemen. Tiger I want, steaks. I want to see cheesy beans in the Lara Croft cookbook. Bottle of Lucas don't manage aid, that, because I remember that ad. me by Droogs, and I Roast will be disappointed. Bear. Z- Roast what? Bear. Mm. There's a club where you can get that. In Soho, I think. <laughs> Good. Good. Anyway, uh, there was wow. a, a look at a couple of their mobile games. I mean, um, spit roasting Papa Bear is a very different thing in the, Soho. FYI. There's <laughs> Just Cause Mobile. That's a new mobile game he's about Just have to bleep Cause. Out that whole it looks scene. like. No, he's not. No, I don't. There's no swear. I was, that, that was the episode title in the bag right there. <laughs> yeah. Spit uh, just roasting call- Papa Bear in Soho. <laughs> Right, mobile games. There's a Just Cause mobile game. Seems to be multiplayer. We only saw a pre-rendered cutscene trailer. There's no gameplay footage there at all. Uh, It's mobile. Who cares? Uh, There's a new uh, Hitman game called Hitman Sniper Assassins, where you follow... uh, I mean, there's sniper spin-off games within the games and mobile games and stuff they've done before. So, new Assassin, not 47. It's it's sniper stuff. Uh, Also, there's going to be a Space Invaders AR title, uh, which they haven't given the title of. I'm assuming it's Space Invaders AR or something to that ilk. Uh, but there's a sign-up thing Space Invaders which... is what it is. Ours. Invaders. 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 You can sign up to trials on that. There's Go details in the video. <laughs> um, they showed off uh, videos for uh, Two Who Spell Bubble and Darius and Bubble Bobble remakes. And then after that, we had uh, another look at Marvel's Avengers. They went through the the Hawkeye stuff, the new update that's Ooh, coming soon. Do you remember also, that game, Coleman? Yeah, I played it this week, in fact. Ooh. Wow. I went through all the Anyone Kate else Bishop playing stuff. it yet? Yes, uh, you missed this last week when you were off gallivanting about in science. Sorry. <laughs> 
No, I ran for all the Kate Bishop stuff. There's actually, I'm able to get full teams online of randoms now. So that's fun. Um, actually playing in four player modes where everyone's at the same level as me. So that was cool. Um, and the story's getting interesting as well. The Clint stuff looks at the kind of alternate future and the big bad boss is uh, the maestro. So yeah, looks to be fun. But at the end of that, they did a quick look and uh, hinted at the next expansion upon that. It's going to be the War of Wakanda. Um, so we're going to get the, the Black Panther update, the new playable Black Panther character. And it looks like the big bad in that is going to be Ulysses Claw, which makes sense. Um, so yeah, all Marvel's Avengers stuff. And with the, the update for PS5 and Xbox uh, Series X around the corner, it's a good time to get into it. 4K, 60, reduced load times, all that. Right. In yeah. more more frames per second, because I know that excites you greatly these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. 60 frames per second. All good. Lovely. Mm. Buttery smooth. Like a greased whippet. Battle and Wonderworld. It was a nice looking trailer, but you can tell a lot of it is cutscenes, and it's not a good game. Uh, there's a new Life is, uh, Life is Strange title coming out called Life is Strange uh, True Colors. Life is Strange what? True Colors, coming True out colors. on the 10th of oh. September. Um, but also along with that, there will be uh, Life is Strange Remastered. So all the previous titles and spin-offs and stuff put in together, available on all the new consoles with all the new shiny goodness. Uh, and then lastly, Project Athia has got a new title. It's now called Forspoken. Uh, Project Athia. Forspoken? Yeah. What? How do they manage to go? Well, that's a bad name. At least they're that, changing can it. I just say, it's called Project, and come up with a worse name. That that is a Squeenix R Squeenix title <laughs> right there. That really is. I mean, yeah, Project Athia. It looked interesting. That was at the PlayStation Five reveal. They showed that off uh, a quick snippet, um, but you could tell it had a lot of time to go. So now they're only just giving us an actual title for the game. It's still going to have a while to go. Yeah, I think, but. Um, yeah, it's got a Final Fantasy look about it while not being a Final Fantasy type game. So, you know, Squeenix. <laughs> Squeenix! <laughs> um, uh, how impressed you, Carl, man, that I didn't immediately start trying to form senses around True Colors lyrics as well. I was I'm expecting proud. it. I'm proud of myself. It's very good. Very proud of you, Dan. Well, this world makes me crazy. And, you know, you've taken all you can bear, so... Call See, no. Call me up because I'm always going to be there. True girls. <laughs> anyway, good, lovely, marvelous. But that's not the only excitement that has been in the news. Because I saw a photo, and I quote: "Why is that nice man look? Why is that nice man fisting Pac-Man?" Um, was my response to it, um, and that isn't me. You know, doubling down, as Coleman rightly pointed out, that there hasn't been a barrel cast episode for about five years. <laughs> um, but uh, it turns out that that was, in fact, a sneak peek at the uh, new PlayStation VR controllers. Uh, so you mm. can take your old magic wands, or whatever they were, the move sticks, and shove them where the sun don't shine because you're no, not going to... Technically not, because if you shove them anywhere, there's still something shining where you've shoved them. Because that's, that how, big, that's how people can find thing. Papa Bear, right? <laughs> also, the problem with that is the... What, these shoving are, them up? Where? Well, what you yep. do in your own time, mate, when you miss an episode, that's not my problem, that's yours. Right, right okay. But wow. at least you know... Col at least Col Coleman is grumpy, grumpy Papa Bear. At least you've got <laughs> colleagues that can remove them, I'm guessing. He's like a bear enough. with a sore head because yeah. ah, of the bottle on the that's head. What, that's what See? did it. Uh, but yeah, if you, uh, well, if you pick up new controllers, then you can't be throwing away your move controllers because your move controllers are for the PlayStation VR and these new controllers are for the PlayStation VR 2 or whatever two. that version mm -hmm. will be called. Yes. So yeah, less of a replacement, more of a, an upgrade. So it seems that you know so, someone's clearly let the 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 the, uh, the great and the good uh, PlayStation know that haptic feedback is a thing because everything that involves a PlayStation this generation has the word haptic feedback on it. As far mm -hmm, as I can mm -hmm, work mm -hmm. out, 
Yeah, they did. They did say uh, last week when they announced the new headset that there's going to be some form of um, what was it the week before? There's going to be some form of dual sense technology included within these controllers, and that does seem to be adaptive triggers and haptic feedback involved. Yeah. Well, there's also the, the one thing that they have that the others don't is a grip button they described, where it's something where it can sense if you're grasping it, basically. Don't the Oculus controllers have something similar? Where they can... Yes. These look very yeah. suspiciously close to the grip controllers for the Oculus. Um, but that's not a bad thing. These, they're, they're some of the yeah. best controllers on the market for uh, motion control, and the it, it, which includes um, finger tracking as well as uh, grip control. But the biggest thing about this is that the, the motion is not picked up by the uh, a PlayStation camera following yeah, them. It's, it's meant to be tracking. via the headset tracking, which means you're likely to get a full 360 view when you're playing the game, which is something the PlayStation VR sorely needs in comparison mm. to the other yeah. uh, consoles out there. This looked like all the improvements. The, the one thing I will say is um, it's obviously a pair that you need of these now. Yeah. Because previously the Move controllers had all four face buttons on them and you can kind of get away with having one of them in games. Whereas this looks like you'll have to have a pair of them for most games at most times because you've only got uh, two of each of the face buttons on each side of the controller. The other thing I, I'd like to have seen... I don't seen, think they're going to sell them separately, though, Tim. I think they're no, quite but, clearly right. right and left. My, my point being there that you only needed one move controller to take advantage of uh, some of the games on PlayStation VR, whereas you definitely need a pair of these to be able to play. Like There might be some games that allow you to play, you know independently yeah. but most of them are going to be a thing where you need a pair of them and before you could have got away with just having one one move controller possibly whereas that's not going to be the case um in games going forward but also the one thing i would have liked to have seen that them do that they haven't done is that all four of those face buttons are the same shape they're just reg they look like the regular buttons on the face buttons of a normal controller I'd like to have seen them because the one thing is when you've got a headset on, you can't it, it you can't see those different buttons. So I like there are ways of getting around this because you can have in game being able to see where those buttons are on the controllers when you bring your hands up to your face. But I would have liked the, to have seen them make an actual physical difference so you could feel the difference between those buttons. Like make the circle button circular, make the triangle button triangle button triangular square button square so that they are you can actually feel the difference between them without having to look at them i would have i would have suggested more eliminate the face button structure and do more of a uh, a motion controller vr headset style where you do the you know you you make it ergonomically make sense rather than have the four face buttons i mean all you need really uh for navigating controls in the the console or youtube or whatever if you wanted to do the extra stuff is x and circle so that's yeah. select and back and then everything else you know you contour it to the right section and then you get used to the controllers a lot easier rather than having to memorize where everything is all the time well they they do say that it's got like a uh, finger sensitivity for the placement of where your fingers are yeah. and it's got those grip sensors as well which are slightly different controls but otherwise i think they want to make it so that there is as much parity between those controllers and a normal controller just in case you know you need to have a a controller set up for each each version basically that might be an accessibility thing as much as anything else as well though it's good though because this has come out at the right time because if they were going to release a playstation vr2 and go here's the new move controllers <laughs> oh, no yeah. not again no no Why? Um, like it, this is it, definitely like they've, yeah. they've announced this at the right time because it wasn't that long ago i was eyeing up a quest 2 going maybe i'll get me a quest 2 and then i looked they into do it look more quite went, good the quest they are tempting if it wasn't for the facebook account thing i might have already got one. Oh, it's not that um i because i really want to play half-life alex and to do that on a quest 2 you really need a powerful pc to plug it into you can't use the just play it on its own function which kind of yeah. really makes the point of me wanting the quest 2 so I think I'll stick with PlayStation VR products. <laughs> yeah. But that those controllers do make it more likely that 
I'm not sure Half-Life Alex will ever pull it across. It might do eventually. But even if it doesn't, at least it means that games of that ilk and of that caliber can be made uh, on PSVR 2, by the looks of things. I, my one hope is that they actually release these ahead of the, the, the headsets and make them backwards compatible with previous titles so that you could use it with the previous headset. It depends what technology is in but, though, too, yeah, with the depends. tracking. Yeah, with the tracking, that makes it less likely. So, yeah, that that's the only downside to it that I would have liked to have seen a bit of a crossover and got these out ahead of that because that would have been good. But, yeah, I'd rather not be hampered by previous technology going forward because that was the problem with the Move controllers previously. So, yeah, if you're going to have a clean break and I'm going to have to get new controllers, at least, yeah, they should be doing everything that we want them to. So that that looks good generally. I mean, they look pretty great. I mean, I'm yeah, presumably these would be bundled in with the headset, wouldn't they, rather than a separate buy? I mean, I'd assume, because what they tend to do is go, here are... I mean, what they did with the previous gen is go, here are yeah. uh, bundles that have the headset on its own, and here are bundles with the controllers, maybe some games as well, because there are games that you can play without motion controls and just the regular controller. Um, after after messing around extensively with a Vive and after owning a PlayStation VR, I, I want power, but I want simplicity in my headset. So I'm assuming that's going to be the... We'll see what the future of the actual headset is. But um, it, it's looking good by the descriptors so far. Yeah. Jolly good. Uh, that's all the news we got. Is it all the news we done got? That is all the news we done done got. Done 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 got. Done well, ding got. Ding ding dong. Ding dong. Uh, well, I suppose that's about it then, really, for a show, which is looking bizarrely ding like dong. we might be finishing on time. What was that farmyard noise? What? I heard a fu- ding dong. <laughs> it was yourself, Dan. You're what? hearing yourself Tara- as a farmyard. Is that? Tara- Tara- <laughs> Do you know? I was moving stuff over to a new soundboard, and I found a file I didn't even know was there. I'm gonna take me and my standard dong elsewhere. <laughs> true, true fact. <laughs> that was one that never made it to the previous soundboard. It was stuck in limbo uh, somewhere. Wow. There you go. That shows you that shows you what a low bar we have here. But anyway, um Tim, do you want to tell yes. me about, is there anything I should be geeking out at Gosh about? Well, um uh, anyone that didn't know that up to and I think ended today or earlier today, um but the sales of hope I believe are no longer on sale in oh, uh, Sea of Thieves. Good job. So I've hopefully got them. Hopefully you have already purchased those. There will be other campaigns going out in the future and stuff, but uh, obviously this one's just come to an end for now. Uh, There are people still streaming and people that have streamed that you can go and support uh, and go and give some love to. Lots of people that have been streaming and earning money for uh, the Geek Out for Gosh campaign, which is raising money for Great Ormond Street Hospital um by yeah people streaming and by uh, in-game content and uh, other things that we will reveal in the future but yeah like um just a massive thank you to anyone that bought the sales of hope a massive thank you for all the streamers that were doing stuff as well and a massive thank you to all the people that help support them in their streams and help raise some money for for um great ormond street obviously it is a literally great charity to be raising money for it's a great time because they really like do need the help at the moment as well uh, with a lot of their other fundraising avenues closed off to them at the moment so yeah anything you can do would be really great uh there's uh other ways that you can raise money even without the uh, sales of hope stuff going on you can just do your own streams or support other people's streams there are more details on uh great ormond street's website search for geek out for gosh or uh search for geek out for gosh with the number four uh on twitter and facebook and other places as well so um yeah anything you can do to support that it is an ongoing thing so despite the fact the sales of hope are no longer available in sea of thieves uh there are other things coming up and other ways you can support it so please come do so mm-hmm. testify brother <laughs> if you want to get in contact with the show please do so on bigredbarrel.com we've got a comment section for each and every podcast post that goes up there but also we have a link to our discord you should really join our discord if you haven't done so especially with uh playstation communities shutting down then uh, that is the place to go on there because we actually use it yes but also 
there's uh, there's some stuff being planned for the Discord that will come in the future. You will see soon. Um, mm-hmm. If you don't fancy Discord, then you can also find us on uh, Facebook and Twitter at Big Red Barrel, and you can find us on YouTube, Big Red Barrel UK, and then you can get sorry, Big Red Barrel TV, and then you can get in contact with us to give us uh, your opinion about the show, some questions, game suggestions, whatever you fancy. Much like on Discord, the Chug Nut has asked us, "You must person, you must." Permanently change your legal name to that of a video game <laughs> character of your choosing. Ooh. Otherwise, all of the world's puppies and kittens will be put into the Battersea Power Station, which has Bastard. now been converted into a giant blender. Double I, didn't, I don't think you needed to, to, to go that far, really. You could have no. just asked us what name we wanted to legal it, but I like it. It's a commitment to the bit. I like the idea because it kind of paints the picture of taking all the the animals of, of Battersea uh, uh, Animal Shelter and then sticking them into the, the power station. Is instead. this the plot to 103 Dalmatians? Man, I tell you what, it sounds Noah, very Corella Deville. You, you're, the the Redux version of Noah's Ark got dark pretty quickly, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, right, yeah, okay. I have an answer for what, this though. Well, all right. Sorry, what name would you choose, and how would that affect your life going forward? Garcia Hotspur. Ah, <laughs> wow. Yes. Is that only because it's got the word Hotspur in it, though, Tim? Well, yes, but it has the word Hotspur in because the person that made the game is a fan of Spurs, and I com- I confirmed this while interviewing him about one of his games. So, yeah, Fair enough. That, is, that is good. That's uh, Suda51, if anyone's wondering what you're yes, talking about. Suda51 and uh, was it Souls of the Damned, I believe the game was? Something of the Damned. Probably Souls. Let's go with that. Wombats Jeff. of the Damned. Wombats of the Dam. Wombats of, the, of damned. the Damned. Dan, have you got one? Uh, yes, uh, Sir Daniel Fortesque. Ah. How would it change my life? Not much. I thought I it was am. Fortescue. Mine would probably be more awesome. Fortescue, sorry. Yeah. Fortescue. Get his name Fortescue. right. And get your own name right, Dan. Come on. Sorry. Uh, I was going to pick um, Big Zam, but I think that would mean I'd have to get into porn. Um, so instead, I'm going to go with La- La- actually, that's no better. Lara La- Croft? No, Largo Legrand. Uh, okay. I also, same problem. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Does sound a bit Yeah, French porn. Uh, and over on YouTube, Stealthy Joe has asked, which game should have more big red barrels as I know many do not have them? And I have Ooh. an answer for this. Uh, I'd I like think to all the games I've talked about this week have them, but anyway. Any fighting game should have big red barrels in them. And I think yes. the reason for this is when you're playing online and someone just starts blocking every move because they're trying to run down the clock because they have slightly more health than you, mm-hmm. uh, a random big red barrel should hit them and explode. See, but there's a red barrel bonus stage in Street Fighter, and I believe there's yes. a red barrel in Injustice Two. Yeah, but they they don't have that function that I want. I want more red barrels. More and I want exploding, every, okay, every red barrel fighting game things. for that reason. Yeah, mm. mostly Tekken. <laughs> Sports games, FIFA, neat, and Pro Evolution Soccer needs more red barrels. Like, there the hasn't goal. been a silly soccer game like that. Like there was Adidas Power Soccer back in the day, where you could like power up and kung fu kick people off the ball. What about Rocket and... League? Yeah, that's not quite the same. Uh, yeah, you could put a load of red barrels uh, in the red goal in behind League the goalkeeper. Though, so if you fire one, it if you fire the the ball into the net, then it will hit the barrels and they'll all explode in a chain reaction, much like Rocket League. But that in FIFA with its realistic looking graphics. Just stick them all around the side of the pitch so if someone runs off, they explode and they're dead. Yeah. Have you got one, Dan? Uh, I was thinking Tetris. Yay! Because I want things to explode in Tetris. Tetris does not have enough explosions. More I explosions. Mean, if I if I get a Tetris, I don't want to, yay, you got a Tetris. I want an explosion. I want That's explosions I want. in every I game. I want a I want- celebratory explosion. I want, I want a full Tetris salute. Is what I, I want. mean, Tetris Connect gets quite happy. It does, but there's not 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 explosions. I want explosions. Explosions I and want, everything. I want it to. I want it to be like Michael Bay has invaded my game of Tetris, and I want to see explosions and lens flares. It's as simple as that. I I'm a simple man. All right, fair All enough. Right. Fair Good. enough. L- lens flares more JJ Abrams. Uh, for oh, yeah. Michael, that Michael is Bay right is true. sweat, sweat and explosions. Sweat, Ooh. explosions. Sweat. 
slow mm. motion men breathing. Good. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. Explosions and everything. It'd be great. Yeah. More red barrels, please. Th- THQ have announced that they're going to make a series of golf games and they've uh, hired Tiger Woods as like the, the big cover star for that. So Tiger Woods exploding golf. That'd be amazing. Although, well, no, no, I'm sure there's a joke in there. Yeah. I'm you sure there's a joke in there. But, but I, now I'm is not, not the there. time to think of yeah, one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure South Park already did something, but Tiger yeah, Woods yeah. game where you play through all assets, not just golf. You know, dangerous driving, <laughs> dodging Good. lawyers. Good. Good. Yeah. Lovely. Let's try and not get sued to finish this episode off. Uh, allegedly dangerous driving. The Well, the guys that made dangerous driving, the previous game they made was dangerous golf, wasn't it? That is true. Yeah. See, maybe they know something we don't, Coleman, eh? There you go. Well, maybe that is th- their, their, uh, their bag, th- that word in there dangerous i look forward to dangerous cribbage as their next release (laughs) dangerous scrabble war (laughs) triple word score you bastard (laughs) explosions (laughs) anyway i think that's probably about it uh next week apparently slash twitch gaming yeah there's a new uh new gaming stream from twitch gaming called for uh, for idea xbox yes i look forward to that is that on a th- that is on a thursday isn't it yeah Interesting. do you feel there's a bit of a tug of war between um playstation and xbox at the moment they're like playstation uh, well xbox is like here's 20 bethesda games and then playstation's like here's 10 free games for everyone and yeah it's it's working out well for us i'm not complaining at all but it does seem like they're they're kind of vying for top spot at the moment yeah gamers attentions and despite it requiring absolutely no money i still declare that uh fallout 76 is still far too much effort to actually play it was nice that they went hey you know that vr astro game we're going to give you that for free and i went good because i've got that on disc and it gives me one less reason to buy a disc console excellent (laughs) i've been looking to reduce um but yeah i like uh, xbox have gone we bought bethesda they're part of us now exclusives for us yay here's our our games you're my wife now sticking everything on game pass plus outrider's going to be on game pass playstation's gone here's all these free games and nintendo have gone we murder mario on the 31st of march yeah (laughs) so plot twist swings and roundabouts Mm, right i think we should go that noise says yes. Yes. Uh, right. So we're going to be back next week and everything. So I'm sure you will be duly excited. Who knows what will happen between now and then? Well, probably much I the same. I won't be duly. Good. You be whoever you want to be, Tim. Be whatever I don't you want to be. Duly excited. That's a bad name. Duly excited. That is yeah. a great name. <laughs> I'll have you know. Ms. Excited, if you're out there, get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, yeah? All right. Anyway, uh, we're going to go. We're going to remind you who we've been. For example, I have been Dan. I might have been Tim. Mm-hmm. I've been Carmen with a big old lump on me head. Oh, oh poor just lumpy your, Carmen. Just your face. I think it's getting bigger. What, your face? <laughs> no. The, well, yeah, because the lump made it expand. Wow. Okay. So many questions. We're going to go before I vocalise any of them. So, thank you ever so much for listening. Do as Coleman said. Point your internet at bigrebarrow.com. Come say hello on our Discord. And until next week, dear listeners, toodle bye. Which is available today with the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Yeah, it's available today with the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And your ears are quite welcome for the podcasting goodness that you just heard. Why not roll on over to BigRedBarrel.com for more podcasts, news, reviews, and videos from the biggest, reddest site on the internet. BigRedBarrel.com The TV show that I really, really want to see as a uh, game is Supernatural. Because you could have (laughs) 
right, bear with me. Each chapter is a different town with, a, with its own mystery during 